Bonjour! I'm Rina Sawayama. You, you've just caught me in my atelier. I'm here to paint a self-portrait with Pop Buzz. So I'm going to paint this piece of modern art, which is my album cover. It's an amazing dress that flew over from New York. It is two parts. It is a inflatable ball underneath that I had to slide into from the side and then pop myself back up. And then it's got a hood and then I've got some very long nails and a roll. It's art. So let's go. I I'm not much of a painter. I would say I did get an A star in GCSE, which is amazing. And I'm pretty sure that you're not meant to paint the dark bits first, but I'm gonna do that anyway. Hell is a big queer party in the Rina universe. I wrote this song because I have friends who have been told that they're gonna to go to hell by the people who are closest to them. And I thought that was kind of rude, you know, just like not a vibe but a lot of them have real, true like trauma from being shunned by their communities. So I would want to write a really tongue in cheek song about it. But it also has like a double meaning, which is like at the time I wrote it, it was like hell on earth. It was during the pandemic and the people closest to you were the most important and getting you through that time. So this hell is better with you during the pandemic, but this hell is better with you if you're queer or whatever you've been told that you're gonna to go to hell by the people who are meant to love you the most. Britney, Lady Di and Whitney were all women who were victims of paparazzi and um, lack of privacy. And when I'm talking about hell, I feel like the paparazzi um, should belong in hell as well. I was like, who, uh, who is gonna be in hell with the queers? Obviously the paparazzi. So then I was like, well, what have they done? They've been horrible to so many women. And so yeah, that's why I included them in the song. The three-way wedding idea was not meant to be a three-way. It was more just like I wanted to celebrate my pansexuality. So there is a non-binary person and there is a lesbian girl. Um, and we are just having a great time and just celebrating our love and people are protesting, but we're just like, whatever, who cares? And I guess that that is that makes it a poly wedding if you're getting married to two people. Just something I never thought about, but slay, I guess. It's really hard, guys. I'm just, oh my God, okay. No, 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 girl. Shania, like to me, is has this amazing kind of quiet confidence that, is very understated. It's very knowing. I mean, I'm gonna say it, she really slays in every video she does because she's just like, I'm confident, I'm that bitch. And that's like, that's a um, personality and like a confidence that I really wanted to kind of um, exude. Sorry, it's so hard to talk and paint at the same time. <laughs> Usually I'm alone in my, in my studio. Um, I definitely listened to her big singles, Man, I Feel Like a Woman, but it was only when I was an adult that I was like, Oh, Still the One is also by Shania. All these bops are by Shania. And she also wrote Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know, which is one of my favorite Britney Spears songs. Um, so yeah, I was very inspired. I'm literally like having a brain fart. This is not something I do all the time. I don't let you guys into my studio very often. My forever main pop girls. Oh, who are my forever iconic pop girls? Um, Britney. Forever, and now she's free. Now she's free and she's married and that picture with all of them, with Madonna, Paris, it just was amazing. And Selena Gomez, I feel like she was there as well. Very iconic. Gaga, definitely my pop girl. Rihanna, if she would come back and record another bloody album. She's definitely a main pop girl, yeah. This is gonna be awful, like, I'm just, I don't know, like I'm adding hue, I'm snatching my waist a lot more than is in the photo, but you know what? We move. Greatest pop albums of all time. I'm gonna name multiple because I just, I, I actually can't. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, 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 Fame Monster. Um, I'm gonna throw in Chromatica in there because that really got me through lockdown. Uh, I would also say that Anti, even though it wasn't a pop, it kind of was pop album, 
it was popular, so it's a pop album. Uh, Baby One More Time, I guess, or maybe Britney. Oh, I liked, I liked Britney, I think, the record. Yeah, I'm sure there's so many more, but right now, I'm busy painting. <laughs> I named the album after there was a title track called Hold The Girl. And that when I wrote that song, it was after a very intense therapy session and I went straight to the studio. And I was like, I feel very sad, uh, I wanna write song and um, this is the concept because there is a like a psychology term where about it's called the inner child where you embrace your inner child and for me embracing the inner child means holding the girl so wrote when i wrote a song about that i was like oh i, I knew that this would be the the theme of the record kind of like a bit like how dynasty in my first record was like what um influenced the rest of the record and so it really really helped like to categorize the whole Oh my god, I just realized I have to paint the red. Oh no. Oh, the song I'm most excited for my fans to hear. There is a song, and I'm not gonna say the title because I'm so scared of leaks, and like people do leak stuff and I don't like it, and when the title comes out, people leak it. So I'm not gonna say the title, but it's a very, very personal song about um, a friend. Um, and it's about, kind of I would say it's like a chosen family but it's the, it's the parents' perspective of chosen family and kind of remorseful parent. And it's probably one of the songs that I've written that is I'm most proud of in terms of like songwriting. Um, I was really able to tell the story that I wanted with that one and kind of match it with the right melody. And you know, I showed the person that it was about and they were so touched by it, so I'm really happy. Okay, I put again with the red, shouldn't I? Here we go. Oh, the most ridiculous thing I've ever read about myself, that I'm an industry plant. <laughs> Sis, I'm 31. Like, whoever tried to plant me did not do a great job. <laughs> so that is the most ridiculous rumor I've read about myself. I mean, maybe they thought I was younger than I am, but like, they would have given up by now if it was an industry plant, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Being in the public eye can be a little tricky. I would also say like, so much of the positive feedback and all the you know amazing stuff that came from my album was during lockdown so it was all online um, and at the time I was not limiting my time online at all I was like responding to comments reading all the comments and just being like completely uncontrolled in terms of my online addiction and just reading such praise about myself and the record was like addictive you know I was like scrolling 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 and just reading stuff but it became so unsustainable that I actually then just like unfollowed everyone on Instagram I unfollowed everyone on my Twitter um, and on TikTok and I just went completely the other way where I just really limited um, my time on there and since then I've been happier because sometimes Ignorance is bliss, but I still want to post stuff on there because I find it quite fun. So I have um, people helping me do that now because I really do want to talk to my fans as well. But the platforms that I'm able to talk to my fans without like actually giving away my phone number, I don't really like those platforms that as much. I just don't think that that platform like being on there is actually like good for your mental health. So it's like trying to balance that all the time, feeling guilty about being online whilst also being online and also promoting the record online. I think if you're dealing with negativity online, I would say often, I'm not gonna say all the time, but quite often it is all on online and people are really, really vicious online. And just, I think it's always important to remember that people who say really negative things online are not happy. If you're truly happy, you're not gonna say bad things about other people online. I know so many people that I thought were happy that then have troll accounts. And I've been like, oh, you're actually not happy that you've got like lots of anger. I think recognizing that and being empathetic to that is a good step, even though I know if you're receiving hate, it's really hurtful and you're like, why are you doing this to me? And it feels like an attack and your adrenaline gets going and you know, there's physiological responses that, you know, they tell you that you're in danger. So it is hard to gain perspective and be like calm about it. But just remembering that hurt people hurt people. That to me makes me feel better because there's no point me then like, you know, being mean back to someone. So I just always try and have that kind of perspective. Okay, are we slaying a bit? Filming John Wick and training for John Wick was definitely one of the 
most intense. The best experience, it was the most intense. I have never done that much physical exercise in my life that now I feel like I can handle like anything that I've never physically been so challenged in my life. It's really scary like doing something for the first time, like film acting, and it having go out on cinemas around the world. And so if you ever make a mistake on screen, that's printed. And I've had to be okay with that and be like, you know what? Even if my performance is like terrible, I've got to still love myself. It's okay. I tried my best and that's all you can really do. So Keanu would be so kind and remind me like when things were like a close up or uh, wide, because not knowing how to do film or act in film, I would just peak way too early. Like if it's an emotional scene, I would like bring it to the wide and no one can see in the wide and he'd just be like, just telling me the technical things. At the time I couldn't have my acting coach on set because of COVID. And so I was literally learning on the job and asking other huge actors uh, what they thought. My, the best piece of advice I've ever been given is don't watch yourself on screen. <laughs> A lot of, uh, actor friends I know has said that advice and I, th I believe lots of actors actually don't watch their own movies. A lot of great advices I receive. Oh my god, okay, let me just refine. What's more important to me, critical acclaim or commercial success? You can't ask that question. You can't ask that. Um, oh, two years ago I think it would have been critical acclaim, but now it's less commercial success, it's more like, can I write a big song? And all the songs on my album I write, so I'm like, as a songwriter I want to challenge myself and, say, and think, can I, can, I, can I do it? Can, can I write a, a pop song that connects to people but has meaning? And so that challenge like really excites me. But because of social media and streaming, I'm really lucky and I get to, you know, have a career and travel all over the world. And even if I'm not like number one on the charts, I'm still like, Having, loving my life and I think people are very kindly on, online saying oh my god she, like she's so underrated like she should be bigger but I just want everyone to know that I'm very happy and I'm thriving and I'm having a great time and writing the songs I love so I'm, I'm good. Wait I just want to like fill in this one last thing that's like really annoying me. It's not my best work. I usually, I usually paint um, on Fridays so you've caught me off guard but this is good. Ta da! <laughs> it's abstract, you know, takes some imagination. It's art because this could be anyone. I love it. <laughs> I think it's great. Thank you. Yay! Thank you so much! That was so fun and also so stressful. And all my art GCSE coming through. Like, come on. Well, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you want more content like this, please subscribe to Pop Buzz. <laughs>